Hey, love bucks, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favorite and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family, just thank you so, so much for, you know, being able to relate to the videos that I put out, being able to put understanding behind the chaotic, you know, uh, things that happen in our lives being able to be a part of your journey has really been a blessing to me so i really do thank you for allowing me to be a part of your journey so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already please like and subscribe even hit that notification bell so you know when your girl's about to upload her next video also if you are comfortable enough i would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're going to tell me even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you're just up tell me about your impact the gift and how it impacted your life and head you towards a positive direction also if you are uh you feel the video is giving you good vibes or good information you would love to share with a loved one, family, or friend, please go ahead and do so. And while you're at it, um, give me a thumbs up, like, and even share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And thank you so much for the love and support. It's greatly appreciated. And today, um, the meditation music I'm listening to is Enhance Self Love, 528 Hertz music miracle healing frequency positive energy cleanse calming music y'all as soon as i put this on all all, ugh, all i felt was a wave of emotions and it just had me just being so grateful for everything that you know i you know just basically put myself in lightning speed of the things that i went through and it was just showing gratitude and all of a sudden the emotions came up so if you start feeling you know these little emotional things and it's not in a bad way but it makes you you know, have that love for you, the loving vibes that, you know, is trying to flow through. So if you feel those type of emotions, hey, it's, it's coming from the meditation. But uh, it, it fits perfectly with the content of my video today is Twin Flame 101, Hey Oka, seeing, seeing, seeing your gift as a blessing rather than a curse. You know, when you first start this, you know, when you first start your spiritual awakening, it can really put you in a traumatizing state, you know, a state of shock. I know with mine, it truly did. And, you know, it can be very unbearable because you have to go through so many things, you know, and it's making you, it's like, it's making you face the ugly side of yourself. It's making you, anything you have suppressed in life is coming up like past vomit, like that burp that you get that you know that that wet burp that you get in the you know make your nose burn it's that type so it has you really going through your emotions going through anger going through hurt um all the memories you try so hard to forget about or you suppress for so many years even things from your past life all these memories and energy and it, it, walking down memory lane can really have you in a, you know a really bad dark place and it's just like you know through those few minutes that i was meditating right before i started doing this video all all i felt was so many emotions coming up and just crying because when you can step back and really see the bigger picture of everything you had to go through and you know not seeing your gift is a curse because yeah it can be it can be that way but it's all how you tend to look at things if you try to look at things in an optimistic way it brings so much beautiful vibes towards your way and it really humbles you because it's like when you're going through so much cleansing self-care it can really really put you in a bad place it can really do that but then, you know, when you can step out and not put the feeling into the situation and really look at it from a different perspective, it, it can humble you. And I know y'all probably hear me say that, but it's true. It really is because it's like when I'm sitting up here, I, I can go back and forth. It's like a push and pull. You go through that because it had you going back and forth, back and forth, 3D, 4D, 3D, 4D, 5D, and then jump back down to 3D. It just depends on whatever whatever your day is whatever your mood you're constantly going through and it's okay to cry it's okay for you to be angry it's okay for you to sit up here and release 
all that because we have carried on stuff for so long. We're still carrying stuff from our past lives. We're carrying on the things that has been pushed on to us by our family and the family's family and family's family and so forth and so forth. Just that and a third. So it's just like, you know, once everything's said and done, you've been down your spiritual path. You've been, I mean, you've been through your spiritual awakening. You've been through your ascension back and forth, back and forth. All these things like a million times because it will keep going on. And, you know, a lot of people are like, damn, Rosalind, how long do I have to keep going through this? As long as it takes for you to heal, as long as you can sit up here and say, look at things for what they truly are. Yes, it was a jacked up situation for you to go through, but your story the things that you've been through, you're going to be that that ambassador. You're going to be that activist to be able to let people know your story and being able to see that you're that person that went through so much, but you were able to come out a brand new person, being humble, feeling like you're blessed at every waking moment, every time you breathe, you are blessed, you know, and being able to see that and you cry tears of joy because you suppressed that those situations for so long being able to see that those situations can no longer have an effect on me. It can no, no longer change my emotions on how I felt for that moment or even that day, that second, that minute. And being able to say, you know what, I'm glad I went through this. Yes, I've lost so much. Yes, I have you know, been abandoned in so many different ways, been shunned for so many different ways. So many people had their opinions about me. So many people hurt me. So many people abused me. All these things, but they can't never take away that new you. They can't take away that power unless you allow that to, you know, um, being able to see a memory and being able to say, you know what? Yes, this did happen to me, but it also made me as well. It made you that powerful person. It made you that humble person, that beautiful person that took you so long to realize you were. And I'm trying so hard not to cry because that that's a beautiful feeling because it is just like when you have been down that road to say, do I matter? Does someone love me? Um, am I loved? And all those answers are yes, you matter. Your voice matters. Your opinion matters. Your vibes matter. Every waking inch of your cell, your being, all matters. And these things that you have went through, the person you started off as that journey is not going to be the same person that ends that journey. Being able to get to that finish line and hit that tape, you know, like when you, when you see those people on the track, uh, running the, the race and then when you finally get to that that you know that tab is basically saying finish line you break through you know and being able to cry tears of joy saying yes I made it I give all my gratitude and all my blessings to the creator for allowing these things to happen to me and allowing these things to also being able to strengthen me and heal me I can no longer see my gift as being an affliction no longer seeing myself as being an affliction you know um those things are really beautiful. It really is. You know, not every day is going to be perfect. Not every day is going to be sunshine and roses. But being able to see that things can no longer, longer affect you like they used to. And being able to say this situation has humbled you in so many different ways and levels. Being able to appreciate the new you that you have molded yourself into is a beautiful blessing. You know, um... I always see myself as the things that I went through with being able to make these videos, being able to know I can be a part of somebody's life, allow them to step back and see why they had to go through the things they had to go through. Why did they have to have such a dark, being that, you know, that little child in a dark place, like you're lost in the woods and nobody's there to save you. We all have been through that. You know, and being able to say, I'm finally free is a true blessing. Being able to say, I'm free from all the pain. I'm free, free from all the things that's been placed in my life that has hurt me for so long. is a beautiful feeling knowing I can't, the things that have been placed on me, I can't take it personal because these, they're, they're pushing things that they, they have done to themselves. When people have hurt you, you have to believe that they have hurt themselves. That's the reason why they're able to do that to you. That's because why they did that to you. And when you can say that this will never, I will never allow somebody to do this to me again, you can be grateful. I, I mean, when I look at the things that I've went through and people know what I've been through, that I've opened up to tell you, I can say, I'm 
I appreciate them doing this to me. You know, even though it hurts like hell on the things that I that were sacrificed out of my life, that was cut out my life, I can say I appreciate them because I found the new me. You know, I, I love every aspect of me. I love every waking in my being. Being able to love the gift that I've had to be able to help others along the way is a beautiful blessing to me. Um, being able to see the goodness in everybody, even though sometimes it's hard to see, is a blessing. You know, everybody hurts. Hurt people hurt people. You know, um, being able to find that confidence in, within myself to be able to know this has made me stronger than I ever thought I can realize. Being able to help people see things in a different direction on why they had to go through the things they had to go through has really blessed me in so many different ways. Even though I can be able to help somebody up even when I'm suffering at my same time is, is truly a blessing to me. Because it makes me good when I'm able to give somebody a peace of mind to let them know, you know, it's going to be okay. You know, yes, you've been through things, but you're not going to keep going through things. You had to go through it to get to it. And being able to recognize that on so many levels has made me grateful. Um, being able to know I'm a strong person that has been through a lot of bumpy roads. Um, being able to see things for what it's worth. Being able to just basically lift myself up and nobody else will grad congratulate me. I can do that within myself, you know, um, and know that I'm not alone in the world. Being able to know that one day I will finally get my blessings that nobody can't be able to take away because people have took that away for so long. People has, you know try to be my judge and jewelry and trying to define my happiness and how much happiness I'm allowed to have. I've had that going for far too long and I had to take my power back. I had to take that key to my life back. You know, even when people don't think I deserve it, I, I'm going to get that. I'm going to get my blessings and being able to know I can be a part of your life and being able to help you see things for what they really are raw and uncut. You know, it took me a long time to realize that things can't affect me like that. It's just if I allow it to. Um, being able to know I will not allow my ego to consume me. You know, darkness consume me. You know, it won't be today and it won't be tomorrow. You know, not every day is going to be perfect. But you can be able to see the goodness throughout the day. You know, I know so many people that say that their light is gone. You know, it's dim so dope, so low. I, I know what that feeling is. And I hate it when I hear people go through that. You know, and I tell people, you know, yeah, your light, you might feel like your light is gone. It's there. It's just sometimes we, we are so pay attention, we pay attention so much to the bad things in life. We, we don't recognize the good things that are coming into our life. Because yeah, it hurts to go through the things you have gone through and being able to put a smile on somebody's face to let you know yeah that light might feel like it's gone but you keep telling yourself I'm gonna get my light back until you believe it so allow yourself to give yourself that chance give yourself that hug being able to tell yourself you will be okay because you there's a lot of things you felt like you couldn't get through and you have and that's, that's strength right there. You have to acknowledge those those little milestones you have came across that you never thought you would be able to heal from. And you finally did. It just took time. So being able to see the things for what they really are and being able to see that the gift that's been placed upon you is more of a blessing because it allowed you to see the real you of who you truly were. Being able to see you're more powerful than you give yourself credit for being able to help people along the way that suffered like you did. That's how we're going to able to be able to help one person at a time or as many as we can at a time and be a blessing in somebody else's life. Being able to be that torchbearer that can be able to give that person this and say, hey, light your fire back because you truly deserve it. So I hope you're able to resonate with the content of the video. I didn't mean to get mushy, but it's like when you can feel grateful for the things that's been placed in your life and know that you are truly blessed.
and I really feel blessed that I can be able to touch everybody's heart the way I did. And it, you know, makes me send a virtual hug out to people and being able to know I can be a part of your life, can be that therapist, that cheerleader that cheers you on. It's a beautiful blessing to me. So, you know, believe in yourself, believe that you will get out of your 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 rut, coming out that dark place and seeing the light at the end of the tunnel, knowing that silver line is there. You just have to there are certain things you have to just believe in when you can't see it with just your eyes. You have to feel it from your soul and you know your intuition. So I hope you are able to resonate with the content of this video. It's already been over 15 minutes. So I'll give my shout out and everything on my next one. So much love to you. Peace and be wild.